So did you hear Diablo Immortal is going to be releasing in 2021? That's right, this year you're going to be able to play this game. It's really awesome, but wait a minute. Could you play it even earlier than that? Could you play it earlier than everybody else if you sign up for beta? When is beta coming for Diablo Immortal? Let's talk about it. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Nemo. Welcome to another Diablo Immortal video. Today, we're going to be talking about beta. That's right, beta, baby. When is beta coming? When are you going to be able to play Diablo Immortal? Remember, this video is going to be chaptered, so you can skip around anytime you like via those chapters. While you're down there, make sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe, make sure to turn on all notifications because you're going to want to make sure you stay tuned for all the latest Diablo Immortal content coming from Scrappy Academy. So let's get started. All right, so Blizzard just dropped some really hot news at the Q4 financial call. I will link that video for you. I go into great detail exactly what they said. But at the end of the day, basically what they said was that Immortal is coming out. In 2021, we're going to be able to get this game. And as far as when the game is coming, and nobody knows there is an actual date yet. So now a lot of questions are flying around. But the most important question is when is the first time we're going to be able to play this? Because as we all know, beta is coming. And we did just have technical alpha for Diablo Immortal. We got some opportunity to play this game. I was one of the YouTubers that, you know, basically got early access. And there was some folks in Australia who were able to play as well. So I put lots of content about it. In fact, I actually made a full review of the technical alpha. If you haven't seen it, I'll link that for you at the top as well. If you want to check that out. But basically, we played this game. Great. So when is the next time we're going to play it? So if you take a look at this, they said that 2021 is when Immortal is going to be coming out. If you look at software development in general, I'm not going to bore you to death, but I work in the field. I don't know how this works. Basically, it works in quarters, right? If you look at the, 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 the year, it goes into four quarters. So we are technically speaking in Q1 right now, but we're basically moving to Q2. All right. So let's take a look at this high level from a logical point of view, and let's figure out if we can guesstimate when we think the Diablo Immortal is coming. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Now, I, I work for many software companies and tech companies. I actually work for a very large tech company right now. I, I can tell you kind of how development cycles work, but if we look at this, there are four quarters in a year. Right now, we're in Q1, so that's out, right? Because, well, the game is not here yet, so we can take the Q1 out of the picture. So there's Q2, Q3, and Q4. If we look at the fourth quarter, generally speaking, when you're a software company, when you're putting something out into production, when you're releasing something to the world, you don't want to do it around the holidays because that's when most of your employees are going to be taking vacation. They're not going to be around. And you want most of your employees around when you're releasing something to the world, just in case there are bugs, issues, problems. You know, there could be small things that are happening and you want all hands on deck to address those issues. So I can guarantee you, not guarantee you, but I can tell you with some really good probability that they're not going to be releasing the game around the holidays. So you could probably take the second part of Q4 completely out. And in fact, if I had to guess, I probably would take Q4 completely out of the picture. So if it was my guess, it was a good guesstimate that obviously Q1 is not going to happen. And I'm probably thinking that the game was... If it's going to release in Q4, it'll be right at the beginning of Q4. But in my opinion, it will not be in Q4. I'm thinking like Q3 somewhere. So if we're thinking uh, quarter three of 2021, we're thinking like August, September. So somewhere in between August and September is a really good guesstimate of when the actual game might be releasing. All right, cool. So we kind of we put it on the map there, right? We put it on the map. So, okay, Q4, Q3, the game might be coming out. Let's say, let's say August, just for argument's sake. So now that we can sort of guesstimate that we think sometime in August, which is smack down in the middle of Q3, is when we think Immortal will be coming out, we can then take a look at this and say, okay, when do we think Beta might be coming out? Okay, when we, we look at Alpha, when they released Alpha, we played it for a month, and then they took them one more month to like fix and do bugs and whatever else. In this case, I don't think that they're going to be wiping the game. I think that the beta is going to actually roll out into a full release. A lot of, if you look at the past experience with how Blizzard did stuff, generally speaking, that's kind of what you're going to want to do. So they'll probably, most likely, if you take a look again at some of the past historical data, at a lot of different stuff, I don't want to bore you, but the, the general guess here would be that they're going to start beta in a small region somewhere. 
that could be that open or, or external beta test that they talked about in the Q3 financial call um, of the Blizzard Activision financial call. I actually covered that in the video. If you want to the actual details and proof, uh, I'll link the video for you up top. You can check it out. But they did state they're going to have an external regional beta test next. So maybe what they're going to do is they're going to have that external regional beta test and then they're going to expand it more and more and open it to more and more. That's what I would do. If you really think about it. That's probably the best way to right, get things started just to kind of put open up the in one area and slowly open it up more and more to stress the system to get it fully ready and then go global maybe in August. OK, cool. So if that's the case. Then we got six months until August from now, right? February in BlizzCon is one. That could be a cool one too. So you really think about it. They could be announcing beta sometime in BlizzCon, right? So the, right, right at BlizzCon, they could say beta is coming out. So when do we think the beta could be coming out? Well, there's six months from BlizzCon until the August, which we think is going to be the actual global release of Diablo Immortal. So, hmm. Okay. So we can guess when we think the release is, which would be right in August. All right. So that sounds good. And right now we're in February. So that's right, BlizzCon, right? We're in February. So it's six months until August from now. So within that six months, we think beta is coming out. Now, if you look at alpha, they, it took a month for them to give us alpha and then take it back. But in, in, in this case, uh, with beta, I don't think they're going to be actually wiping anything out. So I think, in my opinion, that beta is just going to roll into a global release. So if that's the case, they're probably going to be opening beta up in a small region. And in fact, if you remember in the Q3 financial call, they mentioned that they're going to be the next test for Diablo Immortal after the technical alpha, which just concluded a little while ago. The next test is going to be the external regional beta test. This is what they said in Q3 financial call. I have a full video about that. If you don't believe me and wanted to hear it from themselves directly, I'll link that video for you up top. But that's what they said. They said there's an external regional beta test coming. So probably most likely they're going to open the game up in this external regional beta test and then probably just expand it to more and more regions. Historically, I've seen Blizzard do that a lot. That's also a really good way to stress test the system and not overload it right away. It's a good way to do a lot of stuff. It just makes sense if you think about it from the project management point of view and etc. to open up beta somewhere and just expand it globally. So I think the beta will come out in some region at first and it'll just slowly get to more and more and more and more regions and it is going to finally globally launch. We think from this video, from all of the different guesstimating that you've been doing, we think it's going to be sometime in August. So between February, which is now and BlizzCon and August, this is going to release. So when, what is a good, you know, what's a good guesstimate here? Hmm. Now, we obviously don't know. Nobody really knows when the game was going to come out. But if you had to guess, if I had to guess, I would say somewhere in the second quarter, somewhere smack down in that April, May, June area is when I think the beta will probably be coming out because you really think about it, right? You don't want to make sure you give people some time to play. You're going to want to gather some data. You're going to want to do a bunch of stuff. You're going to want to probably patch some things. So that's what beta is, right? Beta is working out all kinds of bugs. So if the game would, were to come out in August, if we were to guesstimate like we did before that the game was going to be sometime in August, we would probably want to give it some time to do the bugs, to work out things and whatever else. So I think April sounds like a really good time frame for beta. March, April or May would be would be pretty nice. So I would say April. Now let me know down below what you think about this. Again, this is very objective. So I would say March, April, May or June, really like four months. If you had to guess, which one do you think it would be? Let me know down below in the comments. What do you think is the release date for Diablo Immortal Beta? I can't wait. I'll tell you what, I'll be right there with you. We'll be playing it together. I'm really excited for this. This is really good news. I can't wait. We're going to be slaying demons very, very soon, my friends. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.